Okay. Uh, so my uh, thesis today is ultra efficient universal shunchu and black accelerators for decentralized networks. Uh, so before exploring my architectures and accelerators, so let we go to the very first uh, is the background. So uh, I guess a lot of you know about Bitcoin because Bitcoin is the most uh, popular cryptocurrency today. Uh, but today we will talk about Bitcoin. We just talk about the technology behind Bitcoin, which is blockchain. So blockchain. You know, has several advantages like uh, high security, immutability, and availability and trust. So to achieve these advantages, the blockchain network is you know secured by hash function. So the most famous one is the uh, Shachu and Blake. Uh, so let me explain a little bit about Shachu and Blake algorithms. So Sanju and Blink algorithms uh, are the projects of a compression machine input to uh, the hash output uh, and it can be reverted to this project. Uh, so this is the list of Sanju and Blink uh, functions like uh, Sanju algorithm have several sub-functions like Sanju 200 uh, 24, 256, 784, 712, and similar to the black uh, So the next one, let uh, me show you the Shachu and Blake applications. So the Shachu and Blake algorithm is uh, you know, aimed to apply for a society five doctor role. What is the super smart uh, society? Uh, so in the society five doctor role, we have two space. Uh, two spaces. Uh, the first is the cyber space, and second is the physical space. So actually, the uh, statue and black alpha is applied for uh, also both uh, spaces. So in first one, like cyber space need blockchain for you know data security, but blockchain need the statue with fifty six, which is you know the sub function of the uh, statue, and also black uh, uh, two hundred fifty six and. Like uh, 512 is also the sub function of the black algorithm. And the next one, physical space. So, you know, the, the IoT devices here, uh, they need, uh, you know, hash function for, you know, data integrity. This is the reason that the Shachu function uh, is needed here. Uh, so, because Shachu is the most famous one, and it's also standard. This is the reason that a lot of IoT you know, devices try to use Shachu. And uh, Black is just a very new function. It's just only support for the blockchain right now. So this is the reason that the ultra-efficient Shachu and Black accelerator is are needed for the Society 5.0. So uh, let we go to the next part is try to elaborate the main use of Shachu and Black. Uh, as you see here is the two group in the Shachu algorithm is can apply for normal application in uh, the IoT devices like uh, data integrity, HR or RFID, etc. It's uh, also applied in the, the shared cyberspace for the blockchain mining. So as you see that, because they have to use uh, you know, a lot of uh, Shachu shell functions for uh, all of applications, these need to High flexibility and high efficiency in Shachu accelerator. And the next one, the black alpha is just meant for the blockchain mining. The reason is black is more compact and better security than the Shachu. This is the reason that beside the high performance and energy efficient black accelerator is needed. So I uh, just summarize it. So depend on you know, depend on application. I mean, depend on the size of application, we can choose a uh, better architecture for uh, the, you know, the, the hash function. As you can see here, Shachu is for uh, many applications. This reason that they need high flexible, but in this case, in they just apply for the blockchain. This reason that they just only for high performance and energy efficient. Now, let's go to uh, the first accelerator. Uh, so I, I guess. Uh, a lot of sensei here know about 
this aside uh, because I just presented uh, 20 days ago in a colloquial bead, so I just you know briefly presented about it. Uh, so first, about the statue, I have two problems to tackle and go. Uh, I divided uh, some uh, previous works into uh, two groups. Uh, group one is FPGA based work, and group two is CPU or GPU. So in group one, they have several advantages like low power consumption and small error, but they have to trade off the low performance and also low flexibility because they just support for single statue function, and we will explain it more later in the next part. And in the CPU, they have several advantages like high flexibility uh, and also like high performance because they have a lot of cores and effects. But they have trade-off for you know, massive power consumption and large error. As you can see here in two groups, there's you know, no flexible high performance and energy efficient statue accelerator has been proposed yet. It means that there's no accelerator can uh, contain several advantages in two groups like that. Uh, so to solve this problem, my thesis today is to propose a uh, you know, new accelerator to achieve high flexibility and high throughput and uh, also uh, high hardware efficiency. Uh, before going to my architecture, let's you know uh, look up plans. Uh, let look about uh, the previous work. So it depends on the characteristic, depends on the architecture, and I will divide it into four groups. So in the group one is a single Shachu 156 or 512 core. So even Shachu 156 or 512 core, they use the you know 30. 2 bit AU or 64 bit AU. Uh, so, because this is just a compact and small AU, they, have, they can achieve you know, low energy, but they have to trade off you know, the high latency. This is the reason that they achieve you know, low performance. And uh, moreover, they just support for you know, single shot function, like just all the support for. Uh, 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 SHA 256 or SHA 512. This is the reason that they have no flexibility and low performance. And the next one is uh, our blockchain accelerator in our group. Uh, you know, uh, as uh, the blockchain accelerator uh, has proposed uh, by you know, uh, you know the multi-core architecture, this is the reason that they can achieve you know, high performance, but also have the problem is they only support for single SHA function. This is the reason that they have no flexibility. Uh, and, and the second one is the programmable accelerator. So this is the the Emacs, uh, which is you know also the accelerator of uh, this is the hardware architecture from the Nakashima Sensei groups. Uh, so uh, as you know that this also has a high flexibility, high flexibility because they can uh, programmable. Uh, for it can be programmable and can be configured for any function, uh, any computation, but they support better for you know machine learning. This reason that when uh, I implement it uh, by you know when I implement the hash function, they just achieve very very low uh, throughput. This is the reason that this architecture have low performance. So uh, if I want this CPU or GPU, uh, they have high flexibility. As I mentioned about that, just and also the high performance because they have a lot of cores and fast, but they have to uh, consume a lot of power consumption. This is the reason that they have low energy efficiency. So to uh, go back to my uh, proposed architecture in the first accelerator, so to be uh, you know to achieve these goals, uh, I have to be. A, Propose uh, three new ideas. So the first one is the multi-core processing element. Uh, as you can see here, this is uh, my uh, overview architecture of the proposed multi-mode statue accelerator at the system on chip level. So uh, the idea one is located in uh, the multi-mode statue, the multi-mode processing element here. Uh, as you can see here in the figure two, I just want to highlight that this the processing element used two AUs. 
So why have to use two LUs instead of one? So that, uh, I use two LUs to improve the flexibility, as you can see here. Uh, so the ultimate persistent element can be configured to be a uh, parallel 32-bit you know, LUs to compute for uh, SHA-256 uh, or they can you know, cling together to become one 64-bit LU to compute for uh, SHA-512 or they can you know, link together to become the, the SHA-256 for the blockchain mining. It's the reason that they can support for various SHA-2 functions and also uh, the persistent element array can fit for you know, a short message computation or also long message computation. This is the reason that they, they have high flexibility. Uh, and the next one is the IE2. Uh, I am to um, improve the performance and hardware efficiency. Uh, as you can see here, I just mentioned about the dual LU, LU1 and LU2. So in one LU, they have a lot of operators, like uh, 84, uh, 80 operators at one look. This is the reason that we have to buy it to make it uh, low critical path. Uh, by use by line, I can balance the workload. This is the reason that I can optimize the critical path and also improve the throughput and high, you know, high performance. And anyway, uh, in this architecture, we can compute for three messages. In parallel is the reason that uh, our accelerator can achieve you know, high uh, hardware efficiency. Uh, in the final one, in the next one, uh, I want to improve for the blockchain mining because our accelerator is also used for blockchain mining. So the idea three is name nonce generator and detector mechanisms. So as you can see, here is the double chart two with this uh, architecture for blockchain mining. Uh, this is this is the, the block header and the nonce value. They have to try uh, nonce value to find out uh, the hash output smaller than target. But this is not an easy work. You have to compute for. Uh, billion for billion value of uh, you know nodes to find out the valid nodes it takes a lot of time so the reason that we have to propose uh, the nodes generator mechanism as we see here in the architecture and the system on chip level the bandwidth here it has you know the H plus here has uh, the limited bandwidth this is the reason that when transfer a lot of uh, information message input uh, they will achieve you know, low performance. This is the reason that we have to propose the non generator mm -hmm. mechanism to uh, automatically generate input data. They don't need to uh, you know, wait for a CPU to send data. And also, the non detector mechanism used to detect the you know, hash output. This means that this can automatically verify the output data. They don't need to uh, you know, use the CPU to you know, check out data. Now, to un better understand our proposal, uh, as you see here, this uh, this non generator and detector used to improve the you know performance. As you can see here, this the detailed time chart of proposed accelerator with and without uh, the idea two, uh, idea three. As you see here, this the accelerator without idea three. They have a limited performance. The reason is they have to wait for CPU to transfer their uh, transfer their uh, to the accelerator. But in this case, they just only uh, this is Here they just only wait for the CPU send for one message input, and they can you know automatically increase the data or check the data. So this reason that they can achieve you know maximize the performance. Uh, so next one, this is the, uh, our implementation uh, to verify our accelerator on the real MPC. This is the, our architecture on the uh, Avail uh, MPC. 
and this is the system which is designed on the you know, on FPGA using Vibrio tool. Um, so in the next part is very important part. Let we evaluate uh, each idea one by one. So let uh, we evaluate the idea one first. Uh, so as I mentioned about the idea one, it just improved the flexibility. As you can see here, I'm just you know this is the power and throughput of you know seven uh, accelerator versions with seven different processing element array. Uh, as you can see, at each uh, different uh, you know processing element array, they can. Uh, compute for various chart function and achieve like that and as you see here in this case this is the best for our accelerator. Uh, so the next one I will evaluate the ID2. Uh, the ID2 uh, ID is aimed to improve the dual LU. This is the reason that we try to compare the dual LU architecture with related work on the FPGA based work. Uh, so on the two FPGA uh, our throughput is you know 1.5 to uh, nearly uh, 40 percent of uh, 40 times better in throughput and also 1.4 to 6.9 times better in error efficiency. Uh, and the next one I will evaluate uh, the idea three, which is uh, you know the noise generator or noise detector by uh, evaluate the you know, uh, the accelerator with and without the ID3. As you can see here, with the ID3, our accelerator can, you know, four times better in throughput and energy efficiency. Uh, so, uh, in the next one, let me compare to the, you know, related work at the system on chip level. It means that we have to compare with the previous work, you know, implement the shortcut on the real devices. Uh, as you can see here, our accelerator can achieve you know better flexibility, flexibility because they can compute for various two functions, and also they are like they are seven point eight to uh, 15, uh, 59 times better in throughput, and also like one point three to uh, five point uh, eight times better in error and energy efficiency. And the final one. Uh, I will compare to the most powerful CPU or CPU. Uh, so as you see that our accelerator is like uh, 9.4 to 30, uh, 36 times better in power consumption and also at least uh, 29 times better in energy efficiency. So for fair comparison in this task, uh, I use the open source uh, in the internet they just implement for better you know, throughput for CPU or GPU. Uh, and the next one is the you know, high performance and energy efficient black accelerator. Uh, so similar to the statue, I also you know, analyze the problems to take off and go. Uh, first of all, let, we also you know, group it into two groups, classify it into two groups, like FGA based work and CPU or GPU. In the FPGA based work, they have some advantages like low power and error, but these advantages like they have you know low performance. And in CPU or GPU, they also know that they have high performance, but they have to trade off the massive power consumption. As you can see here, there's no high performance and also energy efficient like accelerator has been proposed. What is uh, the accelerator can contain for two advantages in two groups. This is the reason that in uh, this thesis we try to propose the, the second accelerator which is achieve you know, high throughput and also uh, energy efficiency. Now, before I go to my architecture, let we analyze the previous works. So, uh, depends on the architecture and also depends on the characteristic. I also uh, you know, classify them into uh, three groups. And group one is route transformation like core. As you can see here, they also propose the AUU to compute the, the black uh, function. Uh, this is also a very you know, small and compact AUU. This is the reason that they can achieve you know, low energy. But in this AUU, uh, they have to require many loops, several loops. This is the reason that they have to 
trade off the high latency and achieve low performance. And the next one is the programmable black processor. They also have you know high energy because they just only contain for the AU or some uh, kind of very small module. But they all have to require a lot of cycles by uh, you know, because the CPU have to transfer a lot of uh, instructions to this uh, processor for uh, you know controlling the black computation is the reason that they have trade off the high latency and also low performance similar to the first one. Uh, and in the second one is CPU or TPU, similar to the Sachu, they have to, they can achieve the high performance, but they uh, have uh, you know consume a lot of power consumption. This is the reason that they have low energy efficiency. Now let's go to our aesthetic how to achieve how to design the aside to achieve you know high performance and also uh, energy efficient. Now uh, in IU one, uh, this is not just only very you know main contribution, it's just a small contribution. This is the fully by by black accelerator. In this architecture, we try to improve the performance and hardware efficiency. Uh, as you can see here, this is the overview architecture of fully by by black accelerator. So with this uh, architecture, we can use to compute for a large number of continuous metric input. Like in the blockchain, this method can be uh, like uh, million, billions, like four billions. And by you know by compute for uh, many continuous messages, they can generate one hash per one cycle. This is the reason that they can achieve high performance. But this architecture is very general, and I just consider it as a small contribution because. And this architecture, uh, in our group, is the first one proposed this architecture. And uh, the second one is the, the idea two and idea three is our main idea. Is now before we go to the idea two and idea three, let we analyze the you know fully by by black accelerator. As you can see here is the message compression. It's two parts. Uh, first part is the message compression. Uh, this part, you know, occupies around 88% of error. Uh, a lot of studies are proposed to improve the message compression. And uh, the second one is message permutation. It just occupies for 12% of error. And until now, no academic research is proposed to improve the message permutation. But in the blockchain mining, just only 10% error. More than 10% error is also very uh, the big deal because you know in the blockchain they have to consume a lot of power consumption. Reduced power is uh, is also the recent trend today. So this reason that this is our research today. Now let's go to the message uh, permutation. So message permutation has two components. The first one is register used to store the you know message inputs here. So the ID two. Uh, name register automation, and the second one is the permutation circuit. In, in this circuit, they just have you know uh, a lot of short computation. This is the reason that in the idea three, we propose the short optimization. Now let's go to the second one, the register optimization. Now, as you can see here, this is the mesh input. That we analyze the rates of work chains in the continuous message, in the continuous messages. Uh, now you can see here, this is the message input, and in each message input, it has sixteen works here. As we analyze the rates of work changes, now this is, you can see here in the normal application, every works here have frequently change works because we don't know uh, the value of this kind of uh, uh, message input here is frequent change in each uh, message input but in the message in the blockchain mining we know that they contain three groups and group one is frequently change works like they have to it for uh, like billion 
uh, mesh shift in this kind of boards they have to change continuously and also they have some words is infrequently changed words like uh, for for example like uh, four billion times they can change what for the time this is the reason that take a lot of time that we change the value of this word and the final one is the unchanged words this means that for during you know the machine input they never change the word now uh, to better understanding my, uh, uh, you know, my idea too, that we analyze the real application. So as you can see here, it is the mesh permutation. That we analyze the mesh input, what is the block header in the direct network, what is also the blockchain network, similar like uh, the Bitcoin, but they use Blake for blockchain mining. Now, as you can see here in the mesh, in the block header, this and this there is the unchanged word, unchanged words. Uh, so the value of unchanged words is zero zero or eight zero zero one, like that. And in during, you know, blockchain mining, for example, like from the block head, block header zero to block header one million is also the same value, like that, like zero zero or eight. 0001. This is the reason that this is the constant values we can you know remove, don't need to use it. And the second one is in frequently change works. Uh, this is like the H sign time is extra you know, or stack version. For example, like in the block uh, header zero, they are the same. But when you go to the block header uh, uh, one, they just change all the data here and when money for the block header 2 is also changed this means that they infrequently change when mining the data so this is the reason that we for you know during the mining task of one block header this value are uh, unchanged this is the reason that we can remove, remove it we just keep for one register to you know store the message in the uh, the next block, the next block header, and this here is the nonce value they can have the frequently changed here during the blockchain mining for one block header. Now as you see here, this is a proposed uh, register structure in the direct blockchain mining. Uh, as you see here, I just try to reduce a lot of register. This is this is the example, the practical example of uh, uh, our uh, idea tools in the real blockchain network. Now you can see in the in the general, the you know you know the idea two is aimed to improve the error and power consumption. Now here is the normal register structure. They have to use enough uh, you know uh, register to store. This is we. It is the unknown layer value they have to use enough to store data. And the second one is the proposed register structure for blockchain mining. As you see here, just the block header and reduce a lot of register here. And, and the final one is the short optimization. This is the short optimization, uh, like, like I just mentioned about the short computation in the message permutation. Now, as you can see here, in the permutation circuit zero, they have several. They have sixteen. Uh, the short gate. This is the thirty-two bit short gate or sixty-four bit uh, short gate. And in LP, you know, permutation circuit, they have sixteen uh, like short gate, and like here, like uh, fourteen mesh permutation circuits. They have, uh, you know, contain a lot of short gate. This is the reason that we can reduce it to improve the error. Now, uh, let's we also analyze the mesh input, which is also the blockchain in the direct network, which is the real blockchain network. Now, you see here in the in frequently changed words or in frequently changed work. Maybe this is the in frequently changed word, but we don't know about the data. For example, like in the block zero is different, block one different, block two different. We don't know about that. 
is the reason that we have to keep this target to build is unpredictable results. And, and the final one is on-chain value works. Like uh, uh, in, in this actual extra letter, they have 00 or 8001. Uh, this is the reason that the result of this computation we can predict is the predictable results. We can relate it, replace it by the hard wire. You see here, we just have no shortage at all. This is the reason that we can reduce the shortage. Now, uh, let's we go to the general architecture. So our uh, attitudes aim to you know, uh, reduce the error and power consumption. Now, you can see here, uh, this is a normal permutation circuit for uh, any, uh, any application. And this is the proposed, proposed permutation circuit in uh, uh, the blockchain mining by you know, replace several uh, short gates by hard wire. We can reduce the uh, short gates. And reduce short gates, we can reduce error and also reduce the power consumption uh, to improve. Uh, uh, to uh, you know, to demonstrate uh, the uh, accuracy of our accelerator, we will implement it on the real FPGA, which is also the AVL FPGA here. This is our proposed uh, accelerator. So it's not a very important part. So let's we go to the next part uh, to evaluate it. So as I mentioned. Uh, the idea one is not the main, and idea two and idea three is the main idea. So this is the reason that uh, the result one I will evaluate just only for uh, the register and short gate optimization, just in the theoretical evaluation. Now, as you see here, I have to check for uh, all of different numbers of contents and infrequently changed words, like from one to fifteen. And as you can see here in the register, this can optimize to 5.4 to 87.9% uh, uh, you know, of the register optimization. Uh, I just want to note that it's just the optimization in the message optimization is not for entire circuit. Like in a short, in a short gate, it can be like a 6. You know, uh, 0.5 to 93.8% uh, uh, of short optimization. Now, uh, let's demonstrate it in, uh, uh, you know, in the real hardware platform or on the ASIC. First, in the ASIC first, I already, you know, since I already implemented uh, in the, the ASIC. Now, as you see here, is the normal and proposed fully by by blank. First, in the black uh, 256. Now, what is the normal? Normal here is just only the assigner uh, in of the ID1. It just contain ID1, and in propose is contain ID1, 2, and 3. Now, how we check uh, how the uh, ID ideas 2 and 3 improve the performance and uh, improve the error and power. As you can see here, when you check it, it can up to 11.4 optimization in error. And in power, it's uh, like 21.1% uh, uh, optimization in power. And when it's also like 13.1 uh, uh, optimization in error efficiency. And 27.1% uh, optimization in energy. Uh, this is here uh, error efficiency, and here is the energy efficiency. And similar to the black uh, 256, here I just analyzed the black 512. And also the result is also very good, like uh, the black 512 in uh, the area and power and error efficiency, and also energy efficiency. Now, uh, in the next one, let's we you know compare to that with uh, the related works on FPG. Uh, now, first, let we evaluate it on the on the vertex five. 
as you can see here, by you know by uh, achieve by content the only one, our established uh, can achieve you know uh, fourteen point six to uh, two hundred twenty two times better in full wood compared to the previous works. And when you know when uh, content the uh, only two and only three, our established uh, can achieve uh, one point. Uh, three to four times better in area efficiency. So the, the reason why I do not, you know, show you uh, uh, the power here, the power consumption, because the previous work doesn't give any power consumption here, and we just only we give it, it doesn't make sense. And also the next one is the Vertex Six FJ, uh, similar to the Vertex Five. Uh, our acceptor is also like uh, um, significant better in throughput and also significant better in error efficiency when compared to the previous works. Now, uh, in the final one, let me compare it with the most power CPU or GPU. Uh, why I have to compare with the CPU or GPU here? The reason is the CPU or GPU is the main uh, hardware platforms used to mine in the blockchain mining, and uh, to, uh, as I mentioned, for fairly for fair comparison, in uh, this kind of uh, CPU or GPU, I use the open source in the internet, really developed by uh, the blockchain mining company for the uh, running the black algorithm. So as you can see here. Uh, our cycle is, you know, uh, like more than 100 times better in power consumption, and also like uh, 20 times to uh, more than 20 times better in energy efficiency when compared to the CPU or TV. And in here, this is normal fully by light. It means like the the fully by light. With only the ID two, ID one, and here is ID one, two, three. And when compared to it, uh, our slider can you know one point two times better in power consumption and energy efficiency. One point two times here is similar to the uh, twenty twenty percent. So uh, let's go to conclusion. Uh, we have proposed. Two accelerator, please Chachu and Black accelerators for decentralized networks. Uh, in the Chachu accelerator, uh, we have proposed uh, you know multiple Chachu accelerator to achieve high performance and uh, high hyper efficiency and high flexibility. Uh, experimental results show that our accelerator is better than the FPG based works and also CPU or GPU in performance. Hardware efficiency and flexibility, and the final one is black accelerator. We have proposed a fully pipeline black accelerator with a compact message permutation. This means for R two one two three to achieve the high performance and also the energy efficiency. Uh, experimental results show that our accelerator is better than FPGA based works and CPU or GPU in performance and hardware efficiency. So I have like one minute, two thumbs up, and uh, around in the future works, I will be you know decide the, the accelerator can have higher flexibility. It means like it can cover for a lot of uh, hash function. It's just not only in Shadow or Black. And this is our publication. Uh, this is the two you know, papers, and the second one is the conference papers and the pattern. Thank you everyone for listening.
So the reducing the number of resistors or the other good ideas, but I can't uh, follow your uh, dissertation. So uh, please explain. Ah, uh, yes, yes. So as I mentioned about that, uh, let's I hope. Uh, in, uh, in this part, like when we reduce the register and the socket, we can reduce the area and make the circuit smaller. If smaller, they consume less power consumption. This means that we, when we reduce the area, we can reduce the power consumption. You, you mean uh, you reduce uh, not only uh, the number of uh, Registers, but also the error occurrence. The, the, the register and the show up. This is so. Okay. So your architecture seems uh, very specific for uh, yes. the uh, blockchain line. Yes. And the, I wonder in your architecture how about the uh, error error occurrence? So, I mean, the uh, very specific uh, bit level uh, architecture. So, uh, I'm not familiar with this uh, area. So, this specific architecture improves the uh, transaction through the performance and reducing the power consumption. But the, uh, how about the uh, Error or the incorrect uh, something. What, what is the error? Uh, so the, the result is incorrect. The result is? Yes. No, no, no error. No, no error. Uh, or the uh, reliability of the system. But uh, now, as you can see here, uh, the you know the the hash rate is not the same; it's smaller. But in this case, I just use for like a, a very small circuit. But in the blockchain, I mean, they can do. People or they use a lot of cores to increase it. As you can see here in the FPJ, our FPJ, I just use for several percentage of this FPJ. Like they consume for a very just like one power, and here we can decide it into like uh, 64 cores or like 100 cores to to similar to the hash rate. But the idea here, I just want to show that the the power consumption and energy efficiency. If, for example, like the power here, we just you know, like uh, four times, uh, four times here is like uh, 10 watt, and here we can like uh, four times you know, like hash rate here, like it's also the same with the CPU here, because we just you know use 10 cores in the MCA. Yes, when we divide it, it's also that you know we lose the the. The ten here, ten core here. This is the reason that we just only analyze in one core, and we when we increase the the large number of cores, is also simpler. It's not the same, but it's a little bit simpler. So you mean uh, your proposed uh, architecture outperforms the uh, architecture of normal normal fully pipeline of the uh, number of cores uh, in this? Yes. yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. So. Uh, my, uh, I have 
discussed. Uh, one uh, comment for your dissertation. Uh, in your presentation, first, you showed uh, some background, uh, Society 5.55.0, and uh, uh, how important your uh, proposed architecture uh, is for, uh, not only for uh, blockchain mining, but also uh, supporting uh, serial uh, computing science. Uh, but the, in the doctor thesis, no description uh, is included. Uh, so uh, I would like to ask you to include uh, such a very important background uh, uh, to the introduction of your uh, PhD thesis. Uh, okay, so then uh, I have some comments. So, so the dedicated hardware, yes. special purpose hardware, yes. should always be better than the general purpose CPU or GPU. Yes. So then I guess it's better to compare with not with the GPU, CPU, the risers. It's better to compare with the Intel special purpose CPUs. Supported, uh, that, that support the uh, SHA-256. So then how about to compare with the Intel chip? Uh, so right now, because the Intel used, uh, you know, just very, very low technology, and in our lab, just you high technology like 64 nanometer, and Intel used uh, 9 nanometer or is smaller, but uh, right now, I'm just like estimation or just normalize it, maybe. When, uh, like, uh, when just uh, I implemented on the A64 or 65 uh, nanometer and I just try to normalize it into uh, the same technology, but I'm not sure it's fair or not because we don't have the same technology. It's really, really difficult to compare like that. So, uh, I believe you haven't received any sharp comments during your PhD. It's very boring. So let's make it a little bit interesting, right? So my comment will be very, very sharp. Okay, basically, I, I okay, I like your project, I like everything here, but I, I don't like this research and experiment at all. Because, just following Kazama uh, uh question, how can you improve the, uh, how to say, the energy efficiency or something? The only idea in your circuit is to remove some unnecessary XOR gate or register and get some improvement. The only thing you can success, just success, because I don't know if it's a success or not, you can better than your compared work, is that those designers have never noticed such a naive point or they didn't do this at all. That means the only chance you success is nobody did this, otherwise, you will lose everything. The only idea you put is just remove some unnecessary, very tiny circuit like X or B. So, in this one, I would like to see more, if you write this in what to improve it a little bit, just make some uh, future, future uh, work or something like this. How to improve it or how much room you have. By, by what, by summarizing, what is a blockchain like uh, blockchain applications property? For example, in some pro in some uh, calculation works like uh, how to say, like machine learning, we have the problem of data reuse. So if you reduce the data uh, reuse, store and load, store and load something, you can reduce the power. And in some other applications, uh, data movement is also important. In some other applications, you have to see of course, many, many different properties then many, many different strategies. So in this case, you'd better think about the future, how, what kind of strategy you use. Because this one, to be very honest, <coughs> blockchain research work is very complicated, but blockchain implementation is super simple from the viewpoint of circuit. Because no any data recall, just forward, straight, straightforward calculation. And the data is not so massive, just very light data. And parallelism is not so much. 
no massive data. Just very straightforward. It receives some data and do very simple calculation just through it. In, in such a case, how can we improve the efficiency, like energy efficiency? For example, in uh, AI application, especially in C CNN, convolution neural network, we just want to reduce the total number of calculations. Then we can speed it up and we can reduce the power consumption. But in this world, you can never reduce the total number of calculations, right? Yes. And no any data recall, no any data reuse, something like this. So you have very tiny room to improve this kind of things. Just like uh, Nakajima sensor suggests, so why not compare to some uh, specific hardware or something? Or uh, the I don't know the mainstream, but uh, I think blockchain system will be developed for open market users, not the closed market users. That means just another way may be better. How to improve the implementation by using the GPT view or CPU? Not your de development develop the device. Unless you can sell this device to every people on this planet. They use your device. Then that's okay. But most of them will use GPU or CPU or something like this. That's all thing. Thank you, Sensei. Just like Akshima Sensei and uh, John Sensei said, you design a specific basic accelerator compared to GPU and CPU, you get a high performance. But compared with uh, some other basic designs, you can just compare th this reference. I, I just saw that it's more than seven years, even 10 years ago. So why don't you compare with some state-of-art basic design? I, I, I think maybe in a few years, uh, some, some other designs are uh, like accelerator. Why don't you compare with them? Uh, look at this difference more than seven years. So, uh, I know that you really want to know about the comparison between uh, uh, our aside uh, or uh, you know uh, the ASIC. Uh, yes, uh, but right now I'm just uh, you know the ASIC, uh, the ASIC mining it used a uh, totally different architecture like it used a lot of cores, uh, but in our architecture just you know improve for one core and. Uh, when I compare to uh, you know the blockchain, the you know the the ASIC miner is not fair right now. And uh, actually, if I'm just mainly uh, focused uh, implementation on the FGA, if you compare in the, the ASIC is also unfair right now. And maybe go, actually 100% our will be really really smaller than the ASIC right now. And the ASIC doesn't, you know, the ASIC miner doesn't show any architecture and doesn't show anything about their, uh, you know, specific, uh, you know, about uh, the RTO or anything. Uh, I have nothing to compare with that. So you mean that recently uh, we do not have the related tool in the break for you to compare it recently, right? Yeah, yes. So yeah. you compare with the 10 or 7 years ago, you know. That's what you mean? Uh, no, it, can say I want to know that why not? Uh, yes, it's also the, the one the one thing. But can say also want to know that why not? I'm not trying to compare with the the ASIC miner right now because ASIC just like newly. That's why, mm -hmm. and uh, and it, it also like there is the MBJ base what they have proposed for like ten years or like here is the seven years, because also MBJ doesn't have any. New works right now. Yes, really. The Blake, uh, there's a lot of company they develop the ASIC circuit for Blake, but uh, for business purpose, it's not for academic uh, purpose. Re re in recent years, there are no FPGA based works for 
Blink. Recent year, the companies try to implement the Blink in ASIC for blockchain mining, but this is the company. They didn't share any you know, architecture or anything. They just show the result. We don't know how, how about this architecture for health generation. This kind of reply is very dangerous in academia, from the viewpoint of academia. Because some scientists will ask you when you can you can never find any papers during ten years, then stop your research work. <laughs> never do this. Why? You you better think about why. You are the smart smartest guy on this planet, other guys can never thought about this. No, never. Because they don't want to do this. I, I understand the situation, but please do avoid to answer in, in such a way. <laughs> Otherwise some people will ask you and stop for questions. Okay, thank you. I'm sorry. So then uh, the last question, last question. So the, the how long the lifetime of the the algorithm? The how long mean the? For example, the two years, the three years, you can keep the same algorithm in ASIC, or be discarded and the new algorithm will come. Um, it depends on when somebody try can hack this algorithm and the new algorithm we try to propose to replace this algorithm. Yes, like for example, like uh, uh, Shawan, Shawan, they be hacked by someone and then they try to propose the Shachu and right now uh, it's no significant, you know, hacker try to uh, hack this. This is the reason that the Shachu can work until now. And so the answer is depends on uh, some person can hack it or not. It, it doesn't mean like for five time, five years they propose a new one, or ten years they propose a new one. So then, uh, I mean, the, the, if the lifetime is uh, uh, around uh, four or five years, so then the you cannot you cannot continue to build the case. Okay. So then the, you can follow the algorithm. So, but then after you fabricate the real chain, so they they never use. So because that's the old one. So then the my last question is, what's the direction of your research? Mm -hmm. So that you can keep the, the special purpose hardware. So but you never get the the, 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 the commercial based systems. Oh yes, uh, as I mentioned in the future works. Uh, so like in uh, the machine learning, they also have some some your know, mathematic problem mathematic. They can decide some, you know, something uh, for similar to, you know, to compute for uh, uh, this kind of uh, mathematic, for example, like sensei design for Emacs or IMAX for the machine learning, and in my architect in my architecture, like uh, in uh, uh, the cryptocurrency cryptography, they also have a little bit similar. It's not like the same similar. It just have a little bit similar in the mathematics, like they use the shogi, only shogi, like multiplexer is no no multiplexer, just uh, no multiply, like shogi and other. And in the future, I have to decide the architecture can compute for any cryptocurrency, for uh, any cryptography, cryptography. Like in the future, when someone try to, you know, propose a new hash function, and also my outsider can compute for it. Because like in the hash function, they also have to follow the rule to decide it. Like on the shoggy, like uh, like uh, the adder, or just just like that, or sheep, or just only several, you know, competition like that. So as uh, as his discussion with me, that uh, his final target is to to develop like a general purpose accelerator for multiple kinds of hash algorithms. Yeah. So so of course it should be better performance than, than the current CPU and GPUs. But it's you know for hash function but several hash function, not only one, but several hash functions. So to be able to design such case of uh, efficient and general purpose accelerator, so he needs to master several kinds of hash algorithms. Therefore, he is research one by one, and for each algorithm, so he research about that, understand about that, and then they have some, maybe not too big, but uh, 
just some contribution. It's a now in uh, these two research about Shatu and Blake, he has some contribution. But it's actually this is not the final target. So the final target is based on this understand and uh, he will try to develop a uh, like general purpose actually for multiple hash functions. So then, as a final difference, so you should summarize the, all of the questions and the answers, so then the, uh, you could uh, rewrite the doctor thesis. So this is the first version. Okay. So let's look at the first difference.